as well this is some really encouraging news courtesy of tmz regarding jamie fox and basically him saying he's breaking his um he broke his silence story regarding his medical emergency that a lot of people have been speculating about and essentially gave everybody an update on his condition and i'm going to play the clip for you now of jamie fox um thanking the fans for their love and support and briefly explaining what kind of happened and why he's been so silent I've got to switch to audio, of course, because I didn't do it before. Genius. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed, man, and sent me messages. I cannot even begin to tell you um, how, how far it took me and how, how it brought me back. Um, uh, I went through something that I, I thought I would never, ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates. But to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with, uh, with tubes uh, running out of me and, and trying to figure out uh, if if I was gonna make it through. And to be honest with you, my uh, my sister Deidre Dixon, my daughter Corinne Marie saved my life. So uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people, uh, I'm able to leave you this uh, video. I cannot tell you how great it feels to have your family kick in in such a way. And, and y'all know they kept it airtight. They didn't let nothing out. They protected me, and that's what I hope that everyone could have in moments like these. Uh, now, you know, by being quiet, sometimes things, you know, get out of hand. People saying what I got. Some people said I was, I was blind, but as you can see, uh, as you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. Uh, I said I was paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed, uh, but I did go through. I went to hell and back, and my road to recovery. Uh, had some potholes as well, but um, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm coming back and uh, I'm able to work. So I want to thank uh, uh, the people that let me work. Um, and I just want to like say uh, I, that, I, that I, I love everybody and I love all of the love that I got. And man, you know, I know they talk about people crying on videos, you know, you can do take two, but I'm not gonna do a take two, this is, it is what it is. And if you see me out uh, from now on and every once in a while I just burst into tears is because um, it's been tough, man. I was sick, man, but now I got my legs out, uh, under me so you're gonna see me out. Uh, but like I said, I just want you to remember me for uh, the jokes that I crack, uh, the, the movies that I make, some of them good, some of them ain't. I think I got a good one out. Uh, and the songs that I sing, man. And then, you know, some people were talking about I'm a clone. Well, check this out. Just kidding. You. Uh, not clone, man, but I, I'm here on earth because of some great people. I'm here on earth because of God, man. So I love all y'all. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that uh, I'm on my way back. And so it's good to see him back, clearly. I'm not going to lie. Really good to see him back. And I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority here, but I really don't care for him to clear up what actually happened. I think we unfortunately, and myself as well included sometimes, we live in a world where we kind of expect everybody to kind of tell us the exact details of what happened to them because people tend to overshare on socials in general, whether it's your aunt on Facebook, whether it's some random on Twitter or flipping Instagram, everyone is flipping oversharing. And for some reason, you know, agents and handlers of some of these notable celebrity figures out there, they'll probably tell them for some reason that, hey, this is a good strategy, a good way for you to connect with your fans by letting them into your life. But I think some things should remain private, like your medical history, 
like the things that you go through you know in life that you probably that don't kind of you know concern whatever job that you do in the entertainment industry those things should probably be kept to yourself and your close family there should be some things that you should be able to keep private and i think one of them should be anything that happens to you in terms of medical sense so i don't think you need to tell anybody what happened obviously because he didn't say nothing and because it was such a um a different approach than we've seen with some celebrities where he did clearly you know it felt like there was a clear concise um a conceited effort with the people in and around him he even said it himself his daughter and other parts of his family kept it airtight around him so that's clearly something that he's discussed with his family to say hey if anything ever happens to me make sure no one kind of is able to kind of get in here and take pictures of me while i'm on my bed or get interviews or have details and stuff this just stays in the family which i can respect a lot because i feel like people these days will turn everything that happens to them into a fucking content you know cycle or some shit or into a press run and it's fucking gross so it's good to see for some reason some people out there do want to keep their counsel be private and just deal with it behind the scenes with their family and friends and then when they're ready to come back doing the thing that we know them for they're going to come back and do it in full force it's obvious to see that he did suffer something really really crazy because he's completely different in terms of his complexion like the sort of like you know the the sort of like color from his face is sort of kind of zapped out he does have that face of somebody where you just recover from a really bad illness and you're kind of on the other side you do kind of have that corner gaunt you look about him he clearly has lost a ton of weight and his voice is somewhat different which you also get once you have you know you've had something quite serious happen to you so i don't even want to speculate what happened what the deal is i don't really give a fuck um i'm a big fan of jamie fox i think he is really one of the last remaining um if only renaissance man out there truly in terms of all the talents that he has from acting singing dancing you know whatever else it does rapping in between he's absolutely amazing being funny on stage so it's good to have him back and able to be out there doing what he's kind of been you know blessed and given his talents for um to kind of display for the world and that's kind of all you really want from him in that respect so it's good to see jamie fox back um and and hopefully he takes his recovery seriously he takes it slow and whenever there is a time for him to come back and work which he clearly wants to because he was mentioning working clearly he didn't want to be in his hospital bed feeling useless and not feeling like he can be contributing or helping out wherever it may be and that's maybe kind of what kind of de you know defines him i'm all for it i really am all for it so get well soon jamie fox hope you do recover well and hopefully we see you on the other side doing all the amazing things that we kind of know of you from